Hey, what's going on guys? Caleb Wisted here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to fillet a northern pike using the five-piece method. The five-piece method is a great method for beginners. It's easy to remember the steps, and it's a good way to get most of the meat off of a northern pike without having to worry about those pesky Y bones. But there is a few myths out there about the five-piece method, and a lot of the videos I've watched, they're calling these fillets boneless when they're really not. So I'm gonna show you actually how to make these fillets boneless. Before we get started, the five piece method is actually not my preferred method to fillet a pike. I'll leave a link in the description below on my preferred method, but I know a lot of you guys like the five piece and we're gonna use it for this example and I'll show you how to do it. We're gonna fillet this with a conventional knife and an electric knife. I'll leave a link in the description for both of these knives, but uh, there's a certain part of this that's very hard to do with the electric, so we're not gonna do it completely with the electric but the electric does make a couple of steps a little faster. If all you have is a conventional knife, you can certainly get this done with just a conventional knife too. So, all right guys, so this is like I said, about a five pound pike here. I've already de-slimed it and bled it out. So this is gonna be a very clean process. So I'm gonna use the electric Bubba lithium ion for this. And our first cut is gonna be right here behind the head, slightly angled down like so. You can kind of feel the bones there behind the head, but basically it lines up with this back of this gill plate here. Just till you feel the backbone, you'll feel it ticking. And then you want to kind of straighten that fish out. You want it on its belly and you're just turn, turn the knife and just follow that backbone all the way down the fish. Till you hit just before that fin and then you can kind of angle up like so. Now that is a beautiful piece of meat right there. So what I'm gonna do is take all these five pieces off and we're gonna come back and skin them all together. If you look closely, you'll see the Y bones right there and right there. And that is what we need the conventional knife for now to get in there and actually cut off everything on this side of the top Y bones and everything on this side of these Y bones. First thing we gotta do is cut right behind the head straight down and then we're going to do the same thing here straight down just like so, like so so when we take this off it's going to be one slab right here so now we're just going to basically follow these bones just like as if they were the ribs on any other fish and we're going to cut just above them follow those all the way back here and they get a little bit closer to the skin the further back you go and then we're just going to kind of follow them down with our conventional knife here and the reason we want this conventional is the the electric would cut right through these bones so we want that nice smooth knife stroke just follow those down and now we're on the ribs here we're just going to follow those ribs down just like so Okay, just like that. And now once we get to the belly, we can just cut that whole chunk off, kind of cut around that fin there, all the way down. And there you have one side of the fish. Now let's hit the other side. We're gonna do the same thing, cut straight down there, straight down there. And again, you can see those Y bones right there just following that top of those bones down all the way like so okay cut that right off again at the belly there's piece number three now here comes one of the parts that's debatable there is some bones right in this chunk right here that are hard to get out with my other method too. What a lot of guys do is they just cut down right at the front of this fin, like so, and then turn the knife and take off basically what is the tail meat. Like so, one chunk of tail meat. And then they leave this section on the carcass. Now what you can do is you can actually start here as well and just fillet this piece, this whole entire piece off. 
the fish. Kind of right there, like so. You do leave some meat in here between the Y bones and the spine that with my other method you'll get. But again, this is an easy way to learn, it's fast. And if you wanna take this section out and make some soup stock out of it and not waste it, that's a great plan as well. So again, this piece right here is debatable whether you wanna keep it or not. We're just gonna cut that off. There's a bunch of bones in there. Again, you can use that for soup stock. All right guys, so here's our five pieces. And to skin these, I'm gonna use the electric. It's just a little bit easier to skin them. And uh, basically with the tail pieces here, get under that filet, take it right off. Turn the knife and off it comes. Now I'm gonna take the two side slabs, do the same thing here. There we go, and these side slabs are indeed boneless, so there is no bones in these whole side slabs at all. Slab number two, beautiful piece of meat there, no bones. And now the last piece, which is what they call the back straps. This piece has the skin kind of curving up on it, so you definitely want to use the conventional knife to slice down those edges. It's going to make it a lot easier to actually get this piece skinned. So we'll slice down on the edge on that side, and slice down the edge on this side. Just makes it easier to get that knife under there to do the skinning. And this is the piece that's got bones in it still. So we're gonna take it off the skin now. Like so. And a lot of people call that boneless. And it really is definitely not. So there's a row of bones that come from the spine all the way down the center of this piece. And I'm just gonna cut on each side of that. Like so, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this side is now boneless. Nice line, beautiful. This side still has the bones on it, and I'll cut those out now just by slicing just on this side of it. Again, this is not a boneless piece until we take these bones out. There. So that's a row of bones in the loins, and you can actually feel those bones in there. It's like a they're not super hard bones, but they're, you can definitely feel them. They're right all the way through that whole piece. So now we have two lines that are indeed boneless. And actually what this turns into is technically a six piece method once we split the lines and get those bones out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 100% boneless pike. And that's how you do it. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope that video helped you learn how to fillet a Northern Pike using the five piece method. Now stick around. I got another video for you to watch right here. We'll catch you later. Get hooked up.